Welcome back to this instructional set on using Google Chrome Music Lab Song Maker to create music. And we're, today we're going to learn some more advanced features of this tool that we can change some of our settings, we can make things sound and look a little different, and we're going to learn how to save and share a piece today. Let's get right to it. We do have the same piece of music that we ended on in part one. This is our uh, Beethoven Ode to Joy piece. Let's take a listen to it using all of the default settings of uh, the same instruments and the same tempo. This is what we created. Let's take a listen. And that will loop as many times as you need it to, or as many times as you'd like to listen to it. So that the whole section will loop itself as you listen to it. So you can design your lengths, as we can look at that in another video, to make something that's going to be pleasing and it's going to be really cool to listen to over and over again. Uh, some of the basic settings that you can change are your instruments. So the one on the left changes the sound that your melody makes. So I've changed it from marimba to piano. Let's take a listen to a piece of that. You have an electronic piano sound. We have strings. Those are a kind of a pizzicato string style. Woodwinds has, again, an electronic woodwind sound. It sounds a little bit like a clarinet. And then the synth. Uh, this is one that has an electronic quality to it. And that's a good combo with the electronic drums because it gives it that dance sound. So you can use different kinds of melody for your piece. Uh, same thing with the drums. We can use uh, wood blocks. So the wood blocks uh, still use low and high voices. So instead of a, a bass drum and a snare drum or a, or a synth bass and a synth snare, we have two different pitches of wood blocks. We have the drum kit which uses a more realistic bass drum sound instead of the uh, electric uh, bass drum sound, the congas. So these would be your two voices on the congas. And they are not the bongos that have the higher pitch. The congas have a little bit lower pitch. So you can mix and match the combinations that you'd like to get the sound that is what you're feeling and hearing in your head. Uh, you can change the tempo. Right here we are at 120. Now, so 120 beats per minute, one, two, one, two, and the eighth notes or the half counts are gonna be twice that speed. One and two and one and two and one and two and. So this is not the speed of your eighth notes. This is gonna be the speed of what your quarter notes would be or your, your whole counts. And by the way, those are represented by these more bold uh, vertical lines. So the more each of these more bold vertical lines separates an entire count. And in this setting, the counts are divided up into two. You can change a setting to have your counts divided up into three or four uh, beats or subdivisions. So we'll look at that in another video, but we can change our tempo right here. Let's make it down to uh, 88 or 90. Let's just move that down. Uh, let's make it 86, that'll do for now. So this is significantly slower. So the pulse, of course, is much slower. Um, the the percussion pattern right there, the oompa, 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 almost isn't appropriate at that one. So we can adjust how we want to do our settings right there. I can make things happen on different upbeats, give it a uh, kind of a random feel that will drive it forward a little bit. Let's experiment with that. So you can put things in different places to give it an interesting or something unique um, as you go through. Uh, before we go today, I'm gonna to show you how you can save and share one of the pieces you make. This more advanced settings will be for the next video, but saving and sharing is very easily done right from the bottom here. We're gonna click on save. And it's going to give you a link. So it saves your creation and it gives you a link to share it. So the easiest way to do it is to copy your link and then send that link via email or you can use the social media buttons right there if you're using those. But if you wanna share something with me, the easiest way to do it is to copy that link and then share it with me by email. You also can download a MIDI file. The MIDI file is something you can play if you have a MIDI player on your computer and even something like um, your old Windows media player would be able to play that MIDI file back for you. You can actually edit it with some other software that uh, we won't look at in this video. Download WAVE, W-A-V, that is a uh, more uh, more versatile audio file. So that would play on something like if you have an MP3 player and that's something you could even burn it onto a disc and play it in a CD or DVD player. That would be your WAV file. Your MIDI file, you 
you'll likely be able to play it on your computer. So you can save this and keep it for however long you'd like. But the easiest way to show me or show another family member something that you're working on would be to do it by that link. The embed code is if you are building a website and you would like to have this embedded into your website. If you're doing that, I would love to see it, of course, if you're making a website out of this. Uh, but the easiest way, again, click that link, copy it, and do your paste or control V in an email, send it to me, and I would love to see the creations that you're making.